When free agency began, there were plenty of headliners out there, LeBron James, Paul George, but had an unfortunate injury not happened last season, we all would have been talking about DeMarcus Cousins and where he would have been signing for a huge contract. That was not the case. He took a small contract to sign with the Golden State Warriors, and that was a move that said, a lot of people said, the Warriors were already excellent. What else do they need with DeMarcus Cousins? So what did you think about that signing? A very interesting move, and of course, as you say, set the league on fire. I remember when the news came out, we were all completely shocked at Utah Chess Summer League. Um, the move, I think, in the end, from an actual on-court standpoint, may not have the effect that some people are assuming that it's going to have. Of course, the Warriors were already a dominant team, maybe the best we've ever seen. We have to remember, though, of course, that they were that before they got to Marcus Cousins, and that because of the fact that he's coming off injury, which I know you have some experience with and we'll discuss in a second, he's very likely to not be the same player and to really not have that large of a role on this team, at least not until the end of the year, if at all. He's not going to play back-to-backs very likely. Um, and with that in mind, I, I hate to say it in this way, but given the fact that we already saw the Warrior, excuse me, the Rockets weakened this summer, losing Trevor Ariza, they may have some issues with Clint Capella, we aren't sure yet. We uh, With LeBron leaving Cleveland, and it appears the Lakers maybe don't have a title contending team right away there, it seems like the pack has maybe even drifted a little further away from Golden State, and I believe that even before DeMarcus went to Golden State. So with that in mind, I don't want to say it doesn't matter, but at the same time, in, in some ways, to me, it almost doesn't matter. In the sense that, yeah, I agree with you, the Warriors didn't necessarily need DeMarcus Cousins. I mean, sure, why not? If DeMarcus Cousins wants to go play on your team and you can rehab him and you don't need him to play a major role, I say go for it. It's a good fit for him. It gives him an opportunity to get healthy, go out there and focus on his next contract after that. But Ben, as you touched upon, yeah, having covered a lot of injuries on the Philadelphia 76ers, specifically Joel Embiid there, when a player does come back, should not be expected that he's going to go out there and play 30, 40 minutes a game. I would expect there to be minute restrictions, as you touched upon, back to back. So they'll be able to wean him into playing, take some baby gradual steps there. The goal, obviously, will be ready for the playoffs. Because when you're the Golden State Warriors, you're not exactly worried about what happens in January. You're thinking more about June. Absolutely. And of course, to touch on your point and drive it home a little further, the Achilles injury in particular might be the most severe in all of professional sports. And especially for a big guy like DeMarcus, 6'11", a lot of weight on him. That's, that's going to be a very difficult injury to come back from and we honestly it's yet to be seen whether he's going to be able to do that at a completely high level now that isn't to say that there's no value in this contract particularly for demarcus this is a chance for a guy who has certainly had a reputation for maybe not being the greatest in the locker room maybe having some issues at times on that side of things to prove that he can fit into a winning culture that he can buy into a scheme he can buy into a system maybe where he's not the most important guy in the room maybe not even the second most important guy in the room for him that kind of value can be really important and if he can prove that and that he's healthy he can re-enter the market next year and get the payday that he thought he was in for this summer. Yeah, it's going to be a long season for the Warriors as many of us expect so we'll see what kind of role DeMarcus Cousins has in April, May, and June as we talked about. So for more on that just keep following us here at Basketball Insiders.